All right, today we're going to talk about ANSI and rounding measurements. And you know, this, it's really whatever you've been doing for the last however many years you've been doing this business, you're going to do it the same way. But I get a lot of questions about this. And because we have something new, you know, people think, well, what does ANSI require? You know, what's changed on there? Well, in this case, it really has not changed. So we're just going to talk a little bit about rounding. Now, what does ANSI say technically? It says you can use the measure to the nearest inch or tenth of a foot. It's your choice. So whatever you have learned to do, you can keep doing that. For me personally, I use tenths of a foot. And why do I do that? Because that's the way I was trained. And I bet you're the same, you know, whatever you are using now, it's how your supervisor taught you, you know, you're comfortable with it and ANSI doesn't require you to change that. That's one thing in ANSI that requires no changing on here. And the rules of thumb, if you will, I mean, they're really simple. If it's below the half inch mark, you're gonna round it down. If it's above that half inch mark or 10th or whatever it is, round it up. You know, the actual, or, or don't try to make them more complicated than they are, you know, whether it's uh, inches or tenths of a foot, just use what we call the rule of thumb. Anything as five tenths of a foot or less is rounded down and anything over five tenths of a foot is rounded up. Now, technically, it's below 0 0.499. You round that measurement down, and anything over 0 0.5 or 5 tenths or half a foot, whatever, you know, round it up. Just use your best judgment in these things and do what you've been doing the same way. You know, rounding really should be one of the easiest parts of the job, and there's only two things you really got to th think about here. Now, when you're doing your wall measurements, the exterior measurements around the house, you know, like 18.43, well, you might put that in your software is 18.4. If it's 30.65, well, that's going to be 30.7. But when you get to the final measurement, the total square footage, that's when you're going to round it to the nearest whole square foot. And that doesn't mean the you're going to round it to a half a foot, the next half foot, or the below half foot. You know, ANSI does not allow you to round it to the nearest half a foot. That voids any adherence. To ANSI. So you've got to round it to the nearest whole square foot. So if you have 2,438.37, well, that's going to be 2,438 square feet. If you have 2,967.89, you're going to round that one up to 2,968. You know, there's only the measurements around the perimeter, you know, the exterior measurements, and then the square footage total. That's the only two things that you have to worry about in rounding. And, you know, like I said, for me personally, I do tenths of an inch. And, you know, people sometimes try to get real complicated. And it doesn't matter whether you, you use tenths or inches, you know. Tenths can go up to hundredths or thousandths or whatever, and inches can go, you know, quarters, halves, uh, 30 seconds, 64th. You know, you can get as complicated as you want with either one of them, but guys, it, we're not that precise in measuring. You know, I would think the nearest inch or tenth of a foot is pretty precise in itself, so don't make this more complicated than it needs to be. If you're using the laser measure, it's the same thing. You know, if you've got 32.43 on the front, it's 32.4. If you've got 50.67 on the side, you're going to round that to 50.7. So our total square footage at 1643.23, guess what? 1,643 square feet. It's not any more complicated than that, guys. So, you know, the 12.56 is 12.6. 6.12, 6.1. 14.44 is 14.4. 
or you can take your software and gauge it to put in anything you want. You know, if you want to put the level of detail with the two measurements in there, you can use your software, you know, call your software provider and they will help you set it up however you want to put it in there.